Hello my friend, you want to create a game, I know this, and to be honest, we would like to probably only download the tool and start doing it. I know, I just want to say one thing. This is the best time that we've ever had to create games. It's never been such easy task, because engines, like for example Godot, makes so much work for you, okay? You don't need to know the basics of physics, uh, you need, don't need to know how to create animations as much as it used to be. There is so much free resources that you can just download and use in your game even for free and sell it. And well, Godot is free, it's open source and uh, well, you can develop your game on any platform, any platform, really, any platform uh, in this software and publish it and sell it, right? So it's not only best time to you know, learn it because of the fact that it's easy and well, we've got AI that's gonna help you in this process also, not only me. That's also easy because all the interface, every, all the work that's been done by you know, people who are creating games is like uh, in this engine because it's also open source, right? So everybody can contribute to make this engine each day better. Highly recommended. And in this lecture, I would like to also tell you, well, maybe what is this engine, right? Well, imagine a car without engine. You can't drive a car without engine, you can't start the journey. It's the same for creating games. If you want to create a game, you want engine, so something that has tools that's gonna help you. So, for example, the animations, as I said, the physics. So when something collides with something, you do not need to you know, know physics, you just need to know how to interact with the elements in this engine, right? And this is very cool. And it's also good to know Let's see what games were created in this engine. Potato, Don uh, Donkeeper, Halls of Torment, and for example, Backpack Battles. Mainly the popular ones are created in 2D. It's because mainly this engine is used by indie games. But really, the result of this game, like for example here, as you can see, how many players are playing it currently, but but how many players left a user review? Check the AAA titles, okay? And compare this number, okay? How many user reviews were there? Uh, and really, for example, in Di uh, Diablo 4 on Steam, uh, there were like 30,000 people online uh, in the same time. Uh, and well, this game has been on the market for a very long time and it has 4,000 currently. I'm showing these games because these games, well, they do not look like, you know, something hard to make. Well, there has to be, there had to be lots of, you know, love put into this game to make them so popular, even if they do not have a graphic like that, right? But you need to understand that you are able to do the same thing now. Put the work into it, in this course, learn how to make a game very fast without having to have a knowledge regarding programming and see for yourself if that's the thing that you want to do. Because yes, after this course, you're going to create your first working game, which is going to be a simple one, right? But you're gonna get uh, gain lots of knowledge about not only creating a game, but also about yourself, how you feel while doing it. And afterwards, you can improve yourself. It's not like I know everything about Godot right now. No, no, no. Creating games in Godot or any and other engine. And well, creating games is a never ending story. And this is really great because this is something that makes you want to live it makes every day beautiful you can learn something new and be better at it and you can show the result of your hard work to people and maybe even someday be very successful on for example steam